Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to CTN Member Highlights. Today, I'm excited to have David Lagraf and Gary Amara here from Playback Theater. Playback Theater, yes, and also Lights Up Improv, which is one of the hats I wear. I teach improv. All right. And I'm also artistic director of Portland Playback Theater. All right. And both of those operations are improvisational in nature. And you're a member of both of those improv groups? Or? I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I joined Playback a, about uh, six months ago, and I've been taking classes with, with David for oh. about a year and a half now. Oh, so yeah. how is it performing with your teacher? Oh, it's great. It's <laughs> great. He's a great partner to have because uh, he, he can recover from almost any mistake that you make. So, <laughs> so it's yeah. a pleasure. So he it creates is. that comfort level. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. And, as a matter of fact, uh, speaking about mistakes, I just have to push in on this, this idea of improv um, um, and making mistakes. It's really, uh, the improviser really likes mistakes. He likes to go out there and explore and, and just discover what's out there. And when the mistakes happen, that's okay too. You know, Keith Johnstone, who is like world famous improv guru, um, says, you know, to have a spectator mind, do it, see what happens. If it falls down, that's great. You learn from that too. So um, I really, I've been teaching this for about 20 years. Oh. And I still feel like I'm scratching the surface, but it's basically, it's not about being clever. It's not about being bright and yeah. creative. It's about relaxing, opening up, and discovering what's already there. So when it comes to this party, this improv bash that for, for CTN benefiting Which CTN, is why we're here today, Which is really. why we're here to talk <laughs> about that. Um, I'm hopeful to fill the place with people who will work in twos and threes together around the room. Nobody's going to be pressed to perform and do the kinds of games and exercises mm -hmm. that typify the improviser's world. It's a lot of fun. and. And people learn to relax, let go, and be themselves. Well, you came up with this idea to do this fundraiser yeah. party for yeah. CTN. That's right. And it's going to be August 27th. August 27th. From 7.30 to 9 o'clock. 7.30 to right 9 o'clock. Right here in the CTN studio. Right here where, where I often... Right where we are. Yeah, right where we are. That's right. And I think you've just made me feel a lot better about it because I, I'm a little intimidated. Sure. You know, by sure, absolutely. By, well, I've seen you in in performance, yeah. and I see how quick you are. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not that quick, as yeah. we saw earlier when we were testing the mics. Um, so, tell us a little bit more about what you're going to be doing. Well, and you know, just to respond to what you're saying, mm -hmm. w when you watch the improvisers, you you may think, oh, they're being very quick. But we're all of us quick. If we relax and open open up, we're simply going to be responding what to what happens to us. Just as you are right now, and just as you did in your comments, you were simply responding to what was going on. Mm -hmm. And now I'm responding, right? And so all we're doing is opening up and responding. And I guess the challenge is to let go of your preoccupations. Just let go of your worries, your concerns, and just be there and see what happens, right? Wow. And that's what, that's what improv is all about. Yeah. It's opening up and then seeing yes to what happens. So uh, yes and becomes like uh, the button that an improviser wears because all of improv is simply accepting, validating an idea, and then adding on to it. Uh -huh. So I might say, um, you know, that, that Larry guy is really lazy. Oh my God, he shows up late to work every day. Yeah. And well, he's spending his time out on the porch, you know, in his hammock until I think about one in the afternoon. I know, and, and, and he, he doesn't even press any of his clothes. Oh God, he, you he, know, I saw, I, I saw a fly land on his nose and it just sat there. I could tell it was bothering him, but he didn't have the energy to just brush the fly away. So lazy. Yeah, he's lazy. <laughs> Right? So all we're doing is he accepted my offer that Larry is lazy, mm -hmm. whoever that is, and he is simply adding on a little bit of information yeah. each time. And we all bring to this improv 
our own interpretation of what lazy means. Exactly. All of what you are <laughs> in all your history yeah. up to this moment in time is yeah. brought into the improv. And the stuff that can come out of you, if you can just relax and be here now, yeah. is really fun. Well, it sounds so meditative almost. It and, is. Or, you know, yeah. better than yoga. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very meditative. Clear, relax, and then do the next most obvious thing. Well, why don't we have an example of what you're going to be doing on August 27th sure. from 7.30 to 9. And yeah. I'll step off for a minute while you okay, show us. Okay, but before you go, could you give us um, something that two people might argue about? <laughs> they might argue about what? Well, money comes to money, mind. Money, money, okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to um, do an ABC scene. And everything we do is going to be in alphabetical order. So my first sentence is going to begin with the letter A, and we're going to try to get through the alphabet as we speak. Archie, you've got to stop spending money hand over fist. Bullying me is not going to change my behavior. Can't you be a little bit frugal? Don't you know that I need to be happy? I need the things in my life to make me happy. Even your sister knows better than to go out and throw $100 out on a, on a single dinner. Forever. Forever you're talking about my sister. God, Are you interested you, in her? God, can you possibly take a hint sometimes? Had you ever thought of what I might feel in this situation? I know what I'm feeling right now. I feel our money is running out. Well, just because we are friends and we live together doesn't mean you can tell me how to spend money. Kelly's always pressing you to spend money, isn't she? Love her as I might. She is, she, she has her needs as well. well. Maybe you ought to ditch that girl. <sighs> no, I love her. Okay, okay, but Cut down on the money. Please, will you just relax on this? Quit it. Quit spending all that cash. Right, right. I know I, I, I need to plan for the future. Save a little money. Why don't you just save some money? Time will tell how long we're even going to be on this earth. Why do I need to save? Oh, oh, ugly, ugly, ugly. This is just turning into an ugly argument. Very well. Very well, let's drop it, and we can go about our day. Why not? After all, we're friends. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Zowie, I love working with you. <laughs> An alphabet scene. <laughs> that was terrific. Oh my gosh, I was going through the alphabet with you, and I was like, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it. Yeah. So what fun is that? It's and, a lot of fun. But and you were quick. Thank you. <laughs> but I I if you're concentrating, those things simply come out of you. They just uh, come out. They well, come out of everybody. I'm excited about this, this night on yeah. August 27th That's from right. 7.30 to 9 here at 516 Congress Street. It'll be fun. At CTN. And yeah. for more information, you can go to the... Improv Party for CTN on Facebook, or you can call me at 775-290-0000, extension 201. Thank you. Thank you. It Thank should you. be fun.